What is going on guys? Today is another winter fishing edition. We are on the Snake River here today. I am out here with my brother Micah who is not here at the moment because he's already fishing. I have to go catch up with him. I wanted to make a fire first because it is, well on the way over here it was 12 degrees. I don't know what it is now. Out here the sun has come out so it's probably, you know, a balmy 18 or so. But uh, today we are trout fishing. We're gonna put this trout <laughs> on the ice. We are going to take those trout and some Idaho potatoes and make a little fish and chips. Fish and chips are done boys. Then we're going to use our leftover trout and try to catch some big snake river sturgeon. Last time we were out here I caught a six and a half foot beast and so hopefully, well my goal for today is to try to catch one bigger than that. Let's get fishing. So I want to show you guys something here. One of my subscribers Bryson, Bryson I think it is, sent me, he said this is his favorite freshwater lure. So I'm going to tie this on, thank you Bryson. There we go. And then what I'm also going to do is, if you watch my channel a lot, I love um, Dry Creek Outfitters Trophy Bass Gel Scent. And it's a gel so it sticks on the lure. I, I can, I can, oh it's kind of frozen. Um, it's very, very cold out here. But I can use this stuff. You can put this stuff on a lure and like an hour later, it still the lure will still smell. Sometimes you can even still see it. Just put a little bit of this stuff on the bait for a little extra attractant. Let's see if we can catch something. I would put a link to that uh, scent in the description, guys, but it can only be found in a couple of stores locally, so. Right in the waterfall. Right in there. That'd be so cool. I got one. Wait, what? I do. Oh my gosh. This is... Guys, look at this. Woo! Look at that. Right in that waterfall. Check that out, Bryson. Oh, look at this. This fish has a scar on the side, too. Look at that, Bryson right in the top of the mouth on that little grub. Thank you, dude. And I casted it right in that waterfall right there. Look at the nasty scar. Look at the nasty scar this fish has. That's crazy. I wonder if like a, wonder what that is. I don't know. Because it's not like we have a bunch of toothy fish or something, unless a bird got it or it's a disease. It's either a disease or a bird, but that's like a, that's like a 15, 16 inch trout right there. We're gonna put this trout <laughs> on the ice. Let's get another one. You know, let's do another cast, right? You know, let's walk over there. All right, here's where I caught him. And I know just from fishing here in previous times that it's really deep, right in front of that waterfall. So I want to show you guys something here. This is the 13 foot sturgeon rod that we normally use. But last time we were out here fishing, after we caught that big fish, it was very, very cold when we left, like 12, 10 degrees, somewhere around there. And this rod, this two piece rod was, uh, was stuck together. Well, we went to pull it apart and it was really, really tough to pull it apart. And I think it had frozen together. So when we pulled it apart, we put too much strain. And then you can see right there, the fiberglass cracked. See that crack mark right there? And I think it was just because it was so dang cold outside because this is a really nice fishing rod. So I bought a brand new ugly stick, big water fishing rod, 12 footer. And I was surprised at Cabela's, this was only $75, which I thought was great for a big old sturgeon rod. I was expecting to spend a couple hundred. What I'm gonna do with this trout is I don't know what those slash marks are, so I'm definitely not gonna eat around those. So I'm going to cut that part of the trout off. Now, by the way, if for those of you who are new to fishing, you're like, why is it flopping? Um, it's, those are just nerves. It is not alive. It has been out of the water for like over an hour. There we go. 
Look at that. So I took that fillet off with the scars and see how there's like some guts hanging on to it. Now I have learned with catfish and sturgeon, if you can um, put on it like a, some guts with the cut bait, I get a lot more fish that way. Just like that, look, a big old piece of sturgeon steak right there. Got an eight ounce sinker, which is perfect for this place, on a slider. Oh, that's the juice spot right there. Oh, beautiful. And see, the great thing about this spot here that we've come to really like is be, and not only do we catch lots of fish, but it's smooth bottom. There's a little area where it's smooth bottom right out there. And so we don't get as many snags. And if you're a sturgeon fisherman, you know you're always fighting the snag battle. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Woo! Guys, we are hooked up here big time. Oh, I think this is a good fish. Look at that rod bending. Oh, dude, I think it might be coming up to jump. It is coming up. Look at it. Look at it, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, my brother's running over there. He's going to get his camera. My camera malfunctioned over here. My secondary one. Oh, look, there he goes. Oh, it's splashing on the surface again. This is unreal, dude. So quickly. I think it's that fresh trout. I think so. This is a big one. Did you see him jump? No. He jumped twice. I think you, you were over by the waterfall. You didn't hear me oh. yell. Oh, the sturgeon got me snagged. Again, on that same spot that that last one got me. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of slack. There we go, now she's swimming back out. Back out to deeper water. Get the gaff ready, Mr. Hooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a big gaff. Here you go. <laughs> Quickest you way to land yourself a $50,000 fine, <laughs> gaff a sturgeon. Oh, look at those bubbles coming up right there. She's right there. Oh, there's the great beast. She's upside down. Oh, dude. Whoa. That's a beast. Look at that. Whoa. Dude. Dude. That's a real piggy of the deep. Do you want to land her down here? Sure. Oh, dude. That is a beast of a fish. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. We got her. It's a catch. <laughs> if you touch it, it's a catch. Look at Guys, that. look at that. I gotta take my coat off so I can get down in the water. We're gonna measure this thing up, bro, if you wouldn't mind holding it just for a second yeah, longer so sure. I can get on this end. Right there. And in my state, we measure not from the fork of the tail, but to the, whoa, to the tip of the tail. All there right. you go, right there. Right there. Oh, guys, look, right past the second guide like a little bit past the second guide Perfect. i think that's close to seven feet right there nice. <laughs> dude <laughs> oh. get you some of that a little 2019 <laughs> sturgeon fishing Woo! Yes. happy new year to you brother <laughs> that's awesome <sighs> That is fantastic. Well, should we get a release on this? Let's get a release. Wow. All right. All right, guys, let's get a release on this. Huge fish. Woo! <laughs> nice, dude. Love it. Let's get another fillet of trout, piece of gut. And there we go, another piece of fillet and a piece of the guts there. Cast number two. Make sure I don't hook the camera. Let's see if we can get two and two casts. Guys, it is lunchtime. Let's cook up some fish and chips. Cutting board, Idaho potato. Kind of an ugly Idaho potato. You know, we're gonna wash this guy off real quick. All right, he's all washed up. We're gonna just cut him. Let me get some of the eyes off this thing. Some of the defects. We'll add some peanut oil to the frying pan here. This will be our test chip here. Okay. 
when that guy starts sizzling and bubbling, then we'll uh, we'll add the other ones. See that little guy sizzling there? I think that means the oil's hot enough. I learned a lot after the last fish and chips one. Oh, that sizzling sound. And I brought tongs with me this time. And then for the fish part of this, we've got filet of trout. And then I got I put some butter in the pan already, but the butter was hard as a rock, so I had to like chip it out. So we'll have that in the bottom of the pan. In fact, what we'll do is we'll put it on the bottom of the trout. And we'll lay the little filet right there. And then we got, of course, the classic Louisiana Cajun seasoning, which I love. Then we add some salt. Beautiful. Now it's time to check these real quick. Ooh, getting golden brown. I love that that uh, sizzling sound. Sounds like applause. And with the trout, we'll just kind of scoot it right, right in there. Don't want it to fall over. I don't want to overheat it though. It's very hard cooking with uh, cast iron, a, a light meat like fish over fire. But anyway, look at that. We got fish and we got chips. This is gonna be amazing. My friends, we have another sturgeon bite. I just threw it out there with fresh bait again. I see the tap there. Oh, so oh dang it. Well, we'll try it again. They're out there. Man, they are biting today. Fish and chips are done, boys. Woo. Look at that, golden and crispy. I brought with me paper towels to soak up that peanut oil. Salt these puppies up real well. Look at that, salted crispy chips. Get smoked out. Say a quick prayer for this blessed day. Listen to the crunch. Mmm. 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 The salt's not sticking to them. I need that fine McDonald's salt for these. Because it's not sticking to the potatoes. Oh, man. Well, isn't this crunch? I need to be on an episode of Damn Drops. I need to do a collaboration with him. I catch and cook, and he eats. What do you think? Oh, guys, look at that. Beautiful fish. Oh, that's hot. Oh, just put that beautiful piece of Cajun fish right there. That's what I'm talking about. Cajun's my favorite, by the way, if you're new to my channel. Cajun is my favorite seasoning on fish. Mm. You know what? It's so good. I will put a link to it in the description. You guys can check it out. And I'll do a giveaway. I think they come in packs of two online. A, give, a giveaway of Cajun seasoning. All you guys have to do to enter the giveaway, you have to share this video somewhere, and then you have to, um, of course, be subscribed to the channel. But share it somewhere, and then leave a comment below, and I'll simply pick somebody randomly from the comment section. Uh, you must be within the US, so sorry for you, you viewers outside the US, because otherwise, it costs like $20 to ship a, uh, you know, a $6 item. And then, of course, pair the trout with a crunchy chip. Guys, oh. it's on. Micah has his sturgeon. Feel like a good one? Yeah, it does. He just caught his first trout, or not his first trout, he's, but his first keeper first trout. Keeper tr and then probably turns around and hooks up with this sturgeon. Oh, oh. there's a swirl. She's heading this way. Nice. It's cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Second sturgeon of the day. I'm gonna bring him right down in this little pool here. Let's do it. I'll get down there. Oh. I'll grab it. Almost sweet, bro. Yeah. 
Dude. Well, have to measure it up, probably about three, three and a half feet, maybe. Do, do you want to measure it according to that GoPro rod right there? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's uh, hook came yeah, right out. Dude, Sweet. that's on that fresh, uh, fresh that's on your trout. fresh trout. Guys, fresh trout, we're discovering. Like, we've used frozen trout before, but nothing beats fresh. Pat, almost like oh. to the tip of the, or almost to the tip of the GoPro. Maybe Sweet. just an inch or two short. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll measure that up. Yeah, nice. look at that. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Woo! That's two for us. Yes. <laughs> Dude, let's get this bad boy. You've got the um, long johns there. The, yeah, or the waders. Uh, waders. I'm going to let you All right, get so. her back out into the water. Thanks, bro. Yep. Appreciate it. Well, guys, that was a great second sturgeon of the day. But now it is roasted chicken time. So you might be asking yourself, why roasted chicken? By the way, for this one, I have Zatarain's Cajun hot sauce. I'm going to marinate this one for about 20 minutes. I got these meats from ButcherBox.com. ButcherBox is an online subscription of premium meats. This chicken piece, I'm just going to put salt and pepper on it at first. You sign up for ButcherBox and they send you every month chicken, pork, steaks. They even sent me my first month pre-cut chicken strips, which were delicious. I will put links to their website in the description below and you can check them out for yourselves. With ButcherBox you can cancel at any time and you get the most premium meats. Smoke in my eyes. Woo. Sent right to your door every month. And if you're like me, when I go to the, the grocery store and I look over the huge selection, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know where this, to start, quite frankly. And they make the selection easy. They have all different uh, types of packages where you can just get a few things every month if you're like single, or if you have a family, you can get a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, and I'll uh, put a link. It's a special link for my channel where you can get a discount. Um, on your butcher box. Check it out in the description below. They are the sponsor of this video. Uh, support my channel and get great meats sent right to your door every month. Butcherbox.com. So I just added the piece of spicy chicken on there. So we're gonna have some some <laughs> roasted chicken here. It's, guys, we got one. You got it, guys. Number three. Oh. Dude, this is insane. We, we can't even cook. I'm trying to eat. I know. I can't. <laughs> this is fun. Holy mackerel. Micah has, guys, check out what he's doing here. Uh, he's got this little oven, stone oven. I'll put a link to his video in the description. Um, but we can hardly do our cooking. There she is. Nice, dude. There we go. Woo! A little bit bigger than the last one. Uh-huh. a hard fighter. Yeah, she is. That's a hard fighting one. Woo! Look at that, guys. Yeah. Blink. Oh, <laughs> yeah, here. They hit their heads right in the middle. Woo! Woo! Look at that fish, guys. That is beautiful. Nice. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> thanks so much for landing her. You are welcome. I don't have those waders yet, so I'm a little bit uh, Ooh. handicapped. Look at this, line is coming out of the butt of it. Ooh, she's broke someone off. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Look at those uh, eyes. That is fantastic. They look like snake eyes. Yeah, they do, don't they? That is cool. Eight inches or so. Oh yeah, or close to a foot, because look all the way to the tip of the tail. Oh wow, yeah, okay, so about a foot on what this is. We'll uh -huh. that up. Sweet, nice job, bro. Three sturgeon on the day. Dude, that is so fantastic. Much. Let her go. Hey, you, no, 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 wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> there she goes. Well, she's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you. There you go. Is it just me, or does this chicken look beautiful? And perfect. Mmm. Roasting chicken over my own fire. Never done this before. Guys, check out butcherbox.com in the description. While we wait for my piece of spicy chicken to cook, 
we're gonna throw another line out there. Let's see if we can get a fourth sturgeon. Guys, here's the weird thing about this spot. So we have the whole river we could fish, and I swear where we're casting, it's only like 10 feet deep. Oh, oh I mean, nice! It, dude, it was like, it was like, that was weird. It just went boom like that. I mean, it just it just sucked it up. Sweet, it. yeah, guys. Sturgeon number four. Ah! Might need your help here in a minute. Okay. Did you, uh, what do you uh, the the reel. It's almost like it's not reeling. Oh. Let me yet. Uh, there we go. Maybe. Uh, maybe she's just. Uh, dude, maybe you have a giant. Oh, come this way. You want to take over this for a little bit? All right. Lower back's kind of hurting me. Yeah. Guys, this is a big, heavy fish right here. Oh, I know. Dude, it's swimming toward us, dude. It's swimming toward us. Swimming just, this way? Uh-huh, just swimming straight in. This is nice. Guys, the fish. Oh, then she stopped. Well, that was great. Guys, the fish just came in pretty quickly. Dude, it's a giant. Oh my God. It's a giant. It's a giant sturgeon. Holy mackerel. Look at that beast. Wow. Look at that beast. Look at that. Oh. Look Dude. at that beast of a sturgeon. Oh. Look, she's just right up on shore. She's right up on shore there if you want to grab her. <laughs> Woo! What an epic day wow. of sturgeon fishing. Say it's the same size as the last one. Is it just me or look? Dude, are you kidding me? Same size as the last one? It's, it's a little bit shorter. No kidding. It's a little bit shorter. Oh. It looks way, is it just me or does it look way? It, I think it's thicker, dude. It looks yeah. like thicker than the last one. It's like an inch or inch and a half, two inches shorter. No kidding. That is so weird. Wow. Can you lift it up a little bit? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! Are you kidding me? I bet this one weighs more than that other one. Yeah, I'll bet so too. I mean, that's just beastly. That fought really hard too. Yeah. That was so weird. That fish fought harder and just seemed way thicker than the other than the other sturgeon we caught. And I, just, I thought it was way bigger, but it was it was two inches in terms of length, two inches shorter than that last one. That's crazy. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out on our, the most epic day of sturgeon fishing we've Dude, ever had. That was sick. Woo! Yes. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we will see you in the next one.